To discuss this and any number of other topics, I'm sure I'm joined by Queensland LNP Senator James McGrath. Senator McGrath, are you part of the fellow Earthians, one world government people, or are you into independent sovereignty? Please, level with us, unlike Labor. <laughs> I'm into freedom and I'm into, into sovereign countries. I'm, I'm into anything that, that is pro-Australia rather than these nutters who've been running the Greens for years and are now getting into Labor. I mean, what we see under Anthony Albanese is a Labor Party that keeps going towards the left. So everyone who's listening at home, sit up straight on your sofas because this is serious. This is the alternative Prime Minister of this country has allowed their policy platform to include the steps towards one world government. You can't make this madness up. In, in a country where we've just gone through a terrible plague, an economic and, and health plague caused because someone ate a bat in Wuhan and China, Labor think, oh, let's, let's bring world peace around by having one world government. These people are idiots. But how, how do they think they're going to get away with this? Uh, I mean, this goes through their national platform. If it wasn't for you know, an intrepid journalist who, who picked it up, Nothing would have been said of it. And the other disturbing thing about this, Senator, is that this is the brainchild of what I of a, a staffer who works for a backbencher, Anthony Byrne, someone whom I would normally consider to be one of the wisest heads within the Labor Party. What is going on here? Well, the, the danger here is that Anthony Byrne is what I'd call a good egg. And he is a deputy chair of the Joint Committee on Intelligence and Security. And his main advisor is the one who's put this policy change through. But it shows that the, the, the woke left have just are taking over the Labor Party. And, and the, the king of wokedom actually is, is Anthony Albanese. Like, uh, Albanese is from the left of the Labor Party in New South Wales, and not just the left of the Labor Party, from the Sydney left of the Labor Party. You scratch Anthony Albanese and he doesn't bleed, but he, he wokes. His wokes just comes out of him. And everybody thinks he's a little bit harmless. He's not. This guy is a massive left winger. And what it shows is that Labor are taking us, the Australians, all of us for granted because they've got these far left policies. They're going to be hidden away in the bottom drawer. And if they win the next election, out they come and go, hang on, this is in our policy platform. We're going to have one world government. Yeah. We're going to have iPhones. They're going to track everybody around the place. This is just <laughs> lunacy. It is. And the, the distance between the extreme Greens, who are radicals and we just thought were fringe dwellers, and they've now got their policy platform creeping into Labor. And the point you make about Anthony Albanese, I think, is a very valid one. That for most of his political life, if you ever saw him outside of the cameras, he had a black T-shirt on, he'd be spinning the discs wherever he could at some grunge pub, drinking pints of beer. Now, that might be fine, but not for an alternative prime minister. And I, I guess Labor recognised that. They, they dressed him up in a brand new suit. They've got him to lose a few pounds as he fronted the cameras over this national conference. And yet he didn't mention this, you know, one, one global government policy. I, I, strangely, I don't understand why. No, he didn't mention this, 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 this global republic, which, which sounds like a bad episode out, out of Star Trek. Uh, he hasn't certainly gone out and pushed what, what Labor are going to do in relation to, 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 to Palestine. Uh, this, is a guy, this is a guy who is fully left and a Labor Party who are now fully left. And they want to come to Queensland. And I'm speaking to you from a bowls club here on, on the Gold Coast. They want to come to Queensland and tell the workers of Queensland, oh, you know, vote for us, all be right. But in the meantime, time, you know, the drawers of their desks are, are, are full of, of pro-left, anti-jobs, anti-worker, anti-Queensland policies. Yeah, you're exactly right. They'll probably be enlisting Bob Brown to start another anti-Adani convoy up there for the next federal election. But you mentioned, you mentioned Palestine. Now, Labor have been itching for a very long time to get this onto their national platform. They've done it at this election, which this, this recent uh, um, uh, national convention, which sort of suggests that they're feeling very confident that the public are on their side with it. I see it completely differently. It's basically they've backed away from supporting Israel as more and more Arab states are coming online and recognising Israel has a legitimate right to exist. What's your take? 
Uh, once again, it shows that the, the, the left are taking over the Labor Party. We've always had such a, a pro-Palestinian, a pro-PLO approach. When, when you think about going back to the, to the 1970s, where the, the left of the Labor Party were at, uh, you know, where Queensland's at, where Australians are at, they, they always back freedom, they always back democracies. And they know that Israel is a democracy. If you're an Israeli citizen, you get to vote. And they've had a few elections recently, proving the fact that anyone in Israel gets to vote. But your listeners may not be, your watchers may not be aware that, that missiles are being thrown, thrown and flown into Israel every single night, but the mainstream news aren't reporting it. And guess where they're coming from? They're coming from those enemies of Israel, those who, who the Labor Party now want to recognise for having a, a set for having a sovereign state when these people won't recognise the right of Israel to an existence. This is actually not just a blemish or a blur, this is a disgrace that Labor have gone down this path and they've gone away from the centrist approach to foreign affairs that Michael Danby referred to mm. and they're taking a far left approach. And this is very dangerous when we all know China is on the march. I can't get past the fact, James, that uh, the Americans have now sent $300 million to the Palestinian cause. Uh, it's the most corrupt uh, state that I can think of in existence, basically. And yet uh, they're, naming, they're naming shrines and sporting stadiums after the people who commit atrocities against the Jews. It's uh, an appalling circumstance, and Labor have effectively aligned themselves with it. It's just, a, just appalling. Senator McGrath, I've got to go, but I want to say thanks for your time tonight. You always bring the common sense. Refreshing view to the Bolt Report. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks. Toodle, Luke.